I've always believed that few people will protect the natural world if they don't first love and understand it. Darwin revealed that all species have evolved over time to best exploit the conditions in which they live. He further realized that these conditions are not simply those of geography and climate, but also their relationship to other lives that live alongside. From the delicate codependencies of bees and orchids to the dramatic connection between cheetah and gazelle, all life on Earth is both product and contributor to its place in space and time. This complex web of life, of which we are a part, has been millennia in the making. Whilst Darwin's insights explain how this web came about over 200 years later, we are still only beginning to understand its interconnections and which of these connections are the most vital. Yet we do know for certain is that these connections can break. As far as we know, there have been five major extinction events on our planet. Events caused by changes so severe that many species simply can't adapt and, as such, die out. Right now, we are in the midst of the Earth's sixth mass extinction. One every bit as profound and far-reaching as that which wiped out the dinosaurs. It's almost impossible to grasp as we go about our lives that the rest of life on Earth is experiencing destruction on the scale of that wrought by a colossal asteroid collision. But consider these facts. 96% of the mass of mammals on our planet today are us and the livestock that we've domesticated. Only 4% is everything else, from elephants to badgers, tigers to bats. 70% of all birds are now domesticated poultry mostly chickens. Nature once determined how we survive. Now we determine how nature survives. One of the things Darwin's work has taught us is that we break nature's connections at our peril. Yet break them, we do, at ever greater speed. The impacts of our growing population and our consumption now directly threaten our own future. Just 30 years ago, most whale species were heading towards extinction. A public outcry led to a global agreement to protect whales, and now most populations are recovering. We've subsequently learned how important whales are to the entire ocean system. So saving these majestic creatures actually benefits us as well. The natural world is not just nice to have. It fundamentally matters to each and every one of us. What we did to save the whales, we must now do for all nature. Mm-hmm.